Good afternoon, everybody. Um, welcome to a Saturday stream. Um, ooh, let me just quickly pause that before that starts up. That'll be annoying. Yeah, so welcome to a Saturday afternoon shipping stream. Yes, I know it, it, it is really that is what it is. Um, I've got some shipping to do and otherwise I won't do it and then it'll keep building up. I'm hoping that sales are going to carry on popping in and then it will build up and then like through Saturday night I'll, I'll be sitting down chilling or whatever and then you get a few more sales coming through and then you wake up on Sunday and you still can't really be bothered to start shipping because you're like oh I can do that on a Monday you know and the one thing I hate doing is giving up my Monday morning um, to just shipping I don't think it's very good I, I think it's kind of like I'm not doing a great deal at the weekend anyway um, so yeah um, I'll say a few highs. Laura Eccleston Siebel says hi. Um, so does Jason. Um, DBG Death by Glamour Nile um, BCP as well. Hi there, guys. Thanks for popping. In. Appreciate it. Um, so yes, Pommy Pickers says good days are here. Finally got to see one. Yeah, I, the time difference is obviously an issue when you live out in Australia. Um, but yeah, it's one of those things where I don't enjoy giving up my Monday morning um, to shipping because it just seems like a little bit of a waste. You know what I mean? Like, because you, you you could easily be doing something else. Um, you know, you could be making better use of your time. Um, so woo woo seventy six says hi, and so does Lobster Pot. Hi there. So yeah, I just wanted to get get it done. I've only got like nine parcels so far to do. Um, it's five o'clock now, so I was like, you know, get. If I don't, I know this sounds silly, but coming onto the stream kind of just motivates me to get the shipping done. Like, if, if I wasn't making a stupid stream about me doing the shipping, I probably would sit down and not do the shipping. Um, by the way, guys, if you could just put my mind at rest and let me know what the stream looks like or sounds like, because... Um, I'm getting a bad stream status and I think it's because we're pushing my ancient PC a little bit too hard um, to stream. Um, I, I didn't think it was at a higher bit rate, but anyway, if you could just let me know. Sean Gilbert says, moved your boxes. No, I've not moved them. They're just here because I've gotten some ready to to get stock from you know so that i've got some at hand you know like um this is a production guys you know I'm, I'm i plan this stuff you know it's not like a you know it's not like i just decide to come on and stream about shipping you know you know so i just took, took it out um and they're still here they're all here look guys i've just moved them there <laughs> you can see them there <laughs> um, um all good, says Jason. Crystal Clear says Pommy. Looks okay. North Hand says Nile. Thank you. Laura says it's good. DBG says looks beaut. Thank you, DBG. Um, good here up north, says BCP. Uh, Robert says looks really good. Thank you very much. Lobster Pot says no Alf today. Um, Alf is here. He's in the other room. Um, he's been a bit naughty, I think. So he's he's, he's just sitting down feeling sorry for himself. Um, but he's in, inside with the girls. I think they're watching Come Dine With Me. So I'm in here. You know, I like, you know, it, it's just chilling. <laughs> we saw what's just out of shot. What did you see? I don't know what you saw. What's just out of shot? What did you see? I want to know what it was that you saw. Okay. So, yeah. I've got nine parcels to do. So I'm going to get on with those. Um, hopefully you guys can... Um, get on and do some shipping whilst you're watching slash listening um, if anyone went to a car boot today um, let me know if you got any cool pickups or not um, we're thinking about maybe popping out to one tomorrow we were gonna go to one today but we didn't wake up until really late I had a right lie in today um, so it was one of those things where I was just like just chilling um, ads hey ads what's cracker lacking <laughs> nothing much joke Oh, the little man behind the curtain in Wizard of Oz. Uh, oh, Jason says he went to Norcross Total Crap. Well, in a way, I'm kind of glad to hear that, Jason, because we were considering it and we thought, oh, gosh. I'm um, like, tomorrow's the last day for, for our local car boot. Um, we found his secret session. I haven't got any secrets, guys. I wish I did, you know. Wish I did. Okay. 
let's get to it I'll, sh I'll share with you guys what i'm shipping out let me know if, what you guys if you found anything cool at the car boot today that'll be cool um for a lot of people this is actually going to start to become the final weekend isn't it for for car boot season i don't think there's going to be a great deal um okay let me just quickly show you guys some of the stuff that i'm going to be starting to ship out need to get to it <laughs> oh gosh all right let's just get on move on i think uh, what's the first item i need okay first item i need to get hold of are some thunder tiger panda mickey thompson baja belted rear wheels and tires yes that sounds like a lot of fun I need to get some some wheels some rc wheels out um which i should have let me just get those. I've got all kinds of... It's just, it's just a bunch of boxes, really, and I'm going to be picking stuff out from there. Um, and I think it's two rear sets. Yes, rear sets. So it can't be those, because those don't have Mickey Thompson on them. It's not those, because those are the fronts. Oh, this is not going to be fun. Those don't have, have it either. Okay, I think this is going to be more of a pain. <laughs> Aha! There's one pair. But anyway, it's pretty good. PD0227, yeah. But you want to actually get the ones which have got the marking on them, otherwise it's no good because these don't have any markings on them. Is that a set? That is a set there. Superb. Okay. Um, no sales yet for me today. Boo says death by glamour. Three from you on eBay, none on Amazon. Ah, cool. Yeah, I mean, we've not, we've had a couple come through today. Um, I think we've had three come through on eBay today. And then we've got some from yesterday. Uh, yesterday, I think because of that, um, because of that payday voucher, I'm guessing the payday voucher made it like, you know, like a thing where, um, you know, people were like spending money because they saved 10%, right? So I'm guessing we've had a few people buy stuff because of that. And these are the wheels I've sold. <laughs> Not bad. I actually sold two pairs of them. So I'll get those ready for shipping. And uh, what I'll do is I'll take these out of here because these don't have any branding on them. And there we go. Yeah, so these are like really old vintage RC wheels. They're like you know, they're, they're cool because they've actually got a brand on them. They're actually branded. I don't think you'll be able to see the brand because it's, it's going to be difficult to show. But they're, they're actually branded by Mickey Thompson. But anyway, they, I sold two pairs of these for £21. So that's pretty cool. So it'll be a nice, easy sale. Uh, hi there, um, Joel. How are you? And reseller Reese. Hey, how are you? Hope you're well as well. Thanks for popping in. It pops up regularly, I noticed, once every two months, sometimes 20%, says Sean. Yeah. That, I mean, I think that definitely probably, well, that's the reason why I think that we had a few extra sales come through last night. People, you know, coming home from work and noticing that they can buy something they were looking at for 20 or 10% less or whatever. So makes sense just to keep on top of it because i just don't like i said i just don't want it the, the shipping to build up over the weekend and then have that horrible monday morning feeling when you've got to sit down and ship a bunch of items mm. hi andy how are you i never actually got around to playing fortnite yesterday which i'm kind of bummed about hi bob dixon how are you thanks for popping in yeah, this is another high quality stream. Um, just going through some items that I'm shipping. So that's the first of nine done. Um, okay. Yeah, there's red box A as well. And the sib K box as well. And the grey box one as well. Okay. Um, 
I'm gonna put a late one tonight and get 10 listings up once the girls are in bed, bring myself up to 400. Oh, fantastic, Death by Glamour. It's so nice when you start building your store up, it does feel good. Um, and then it just becomes a case of um, you know keeping an eye on, on, on what size store you want, because sometimes it's easy to just grow without a, a, a goal. Um, so you've got to have some kind of a goal or, or, or an idea of what kind of store you want, how big you want it to be. Because the bigger your store, obviously, the more inventory you've got, the chances are you're going to get more turnover and more work to do. So you're going to have to just judge it and balance it according to how you want it to fit in with your lifestyle, definitely. Um, Aid says, Hazy, hi all, nice to have some company while listing. Fantastic, Aid. Um, Pommy says, Mickey Thompson are big sellers in Oz, full size tires. Do you sell overseas? Might be RC buyers for those here. Yes, Pommy Pickers, yeah, these, uh, these, these all tend to go abroad. Um, these ones actually are sold in the UK, but my previous sales have been to the United States. I'm pretty sure to Australia. But yeah, Mickey Thompson tires are huge sellers, aren't they? Like the full size ones I have seen. Um, but yeah, so it's quite cool to have these old school ones. Lisa says, hi, I'll keep missing lives today, but been sourcing all day. Mm. Oh, that sounds good. I hope you found some awesome stock, some awesome inventory. Um, yeah, we didn't go out not really any need for us to go out to be honest we're quite happy with how much stuff we've got listed at the minute um, and how much stuff we've got in store to list uh, in house to list like at home already without having to go and buy more we probably will go out tomorrow because it's our last car boot i think our local one for the season so we'll pop out to have a look and see what's there um did you find anything cool lisa let us know um, all right, let me just get the next item. I think I'll do the Sib K box. Why not? Okay, that's just a bat. Oh, it could just be a battery. Ten twenty three. Hmm. Right. Okay. Let's see if I can get the battery. I'm not sure. Twenty-three found. Okay, cool. Uh, not that one. It's got like a crack in it or something. That's fine. Ten twenty-three. Got it. Um, that's fantastic. It's saying I've got five left, so there must be some in the actual box as well. Um, uh, hi, Oki. Okay, Sean says, is it me? The more you add, more eBay put you near the front and sales happens again. Less you add, you seem to be in the background. Or am I crazy thinking this? Um, Sean, yeah, it's pretty... A lot of people um, will say that the more you list, the more you will sell. Um, so, because there's activity on the store. So, I mean, I think activity... Um, I think activity does also come in lots of different ways so it could well be tweaking your tweaking your listings changing keywords changing titles adding photos uh, pricing obviously running promotions running markdowns all those things are seen as activity as well so it could be a combination of things Sean but yes definitely the more you list the more you will sell I think that does work out but you kind of have to balance that as well because then when do you stop and like how far can you scale it how much of your day do you want ebay as a business um to, to take over your time you know so um it's really important to bear that in mind because then obviously the more you're working um for your profits the less you know you've got to work out like your profit per you know some people like to work out how much do you think they're, the money they're earning is it worth the hours they're putting in so some of those things to bear in mind um okay lisa says i feel so out of the loop now i'm back to work um yeah i can understand um found some good stuff though mint velvet and other loveliness the ladies will know what i'm on about yeah i'm glad sure i'm sure i'm glad that you found something good though um okay mm. 
Yeah, is it? I think going back to work and 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 still doing, still working on your online business is obviously going to be tiring. I'm so tired from work at DBG. I need to set myself a daily task of X amount of listings. Got a huge backlog to get on. We'll do some tomorrow and some Monday. Yeah, that sounds really tough. I mean, I think that's the, that's the same kind of scenario that, that Beck feels in um, when, you know, when you come home from work, the last thing you probably fancy doing is sitting down and doing, doing some listings. But it's one of those kind of tough situations, really. Um, all right. Let me just get on a bit more with this. Um, actually, you know what? If I pop this out, it's probably better. And then I can do that. And I can do that. That's better. There we go. Um, Lee Allen says, "Hi, just about to start my shipping too." Oh, good. I'm not the only one doing a bit of a bit of upkeep. Just keeps things organised. Really, just keeps things organised. Less to do later on. Okay, let's just get this back in. Okay, um, I think I've got to do what's in that red box, a eh? the center diff. Okay, PD0654. Oh gosh. I think I sold one of these the other day actually, so it should be near the top, ho hopefully. I think that's it. Yep, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Superb. There we go. I actually sold this at a reduced price to a regular customer. So this is actually like a, um, normally I sell this for, a, well, it's on sale at the moment for like twelve fifty nine, dollars um, but I've got a regular customer that buys from me, so I dropped the price for him down to like nine quid because he buys so much off of me quite regularly and, you know, I want to keep him happy. I don't want to keep, you know, charge, you know, if he asks then I'm going to sort him out. Uh, so that's that sorted, so I'm really pleased. That was nice and easy. I remember picking one of those out from there the other day, so it's pretty cool. Peter Ray, hey Peter, how are you? I'm just doing an, another shipping stream. <laughs> um, right, I'm packing our orders from yesterday. We sold over £800 worth of stuff just yesterday. It went mad. Wow, Lee, that is amazing. £800 in just one day. That is incredible. That is so amazing. We we didn't even do that in the last seven days, Lee. So that is, you know, that's amazing. Um, all right, what else have I got to get out from there? Zaheer, your sales seem to be more RC these days. I remember a few years back, you started mainly with vintage electronics. Um, how did you end up doing RC? Asks Pommy Pickers. Um, it was just a haul that we got. We got a massive haul, um, which we've spent a lot of time listing, um, and it's pretty much taken over our eBay store. So yeah, it's, it was so much stock we bought. We got a massive amount of it. Um, actually over 5,000 individual packets, um, spread over about a thousand listings odd. Um, and yeah, it's, it's been selling for us for, for a while now. Um, probably, well, it's now over, just over a year now, just over a year. It literally just hit like the year mark, um, this month that we've been selling it. Um, and yeah, it's pretty much taken over the store and changed what we're doing. Um, it, I still would pick up vintage high five. I found it. Um, but it, it's not, you know, I've not had to go out and, and look for stock and, source stock so um I'm, i keep my eye out here and there but nothing major um so yeah we've just been doing a lot of a lot of that and it, and it kind of you know it's a hobby i enjoy um and through it we've built contacts as well through having this stock 
um and now we can get more of it so we're kind of in a rabbit hole situation now where where it's up to us really how um how deep we go into the rabbit hole do you know what i mean like we, we it comes down to comes down to that really like you know how far into this do we want to delve um and it's been it's been a bit of an eye opener for us as well because it's just meant that it's quite easy compared to doing other stuff like hi-fi shipping doesn't take um long it's you know it's just it's easy it's all smalls goes in small envelopes so that's that's what that is about um but yeah thanks for the question um all right next item i need to get out of gb1 which is a two-speed clutch bell all right let's go wow really Okay. All right. Um, so GV1 is PD0898. PD0898. Let's have a look. Um, no, not in that bag. No. Um. Nope. Just gotta go through these bags to look for this part. Now this is this is the part of the job, which can be frustrating if you miss the part number. Oh, I found it. There you go. PD oh eight nine eight. Super. You become pretty quick at it. So. You spot the numbers really quickly on these little labels. Okay. Uh, two speed clutch. Two speed clutch bell. Which looks looks like that, but it's not that one there. Got it. Says we should have. Uh, it says we should have two available, and we will do because there's three here. Fantastic! That's going. <laughs> wow! I'm glad that sold. Um, Woo Woo says, "Do we get a car boot haul tomorrow? If we go to the car boot." Um, and we find something so there's two variables there that need to be fulfilled if we go to the car boot and we find something then I'm sure we'll we'll put out a little car boot haul um, we were 76 thank you for asking um, okay I love them love all the history says death by glamour oh I love stately homes I got married in a 300 year old one oh okay because Peter Ray's going out to Tatton Park Mansion okay cool um just answered the customer was italian not spanish that's the beauty lisa of google translate it works it out for you i often can get those confused um okay i need to do a video soon been so slacking says lisa it, yeah lisa i mean and shazad's in the chat as well hi shazad how are you um yeah lisa I mean, it's, it's i can't imagine it's just juggling it all can be difficult it really can be so I, you know, hopefully you'll put something out soon. Um, just get into the, just, just force yourself. I mean, look, I've just come on and I just press start streaming. You know, I'm just like, screw it. I'm just gonna do a stream. Okay, as something else sorted and put away. That's brilliant. I'm feeling good. I'm gonna have all these, um, all this shipping up to date, ready for any more orders that may or may not come in. Bex actually making dinner. You know that. I'm really excited. She's not feeling well. She's got a bit of a cold, bless her. But she's like, she's had a nap and she's 
gotten up and she's like I, sh- I fancy making dinner I was like are you sure because I normally do a lot of the cooking now during the week because she's at work and I'm pretty damn good I'll be honest with you guys I'm not just blowing my own trumpet I make f- some really nice meals um, I enjoy cooking um, I've started to enjoy it more I, I can do simple meals though like you know simple curries and things like that I'm not like I can't do stuff which is which requires timing so you know for for example even though a roast is a really simple dinner preparation wise it's very heavily timing related because you've only got so much oven space and you want everything to come out at an even temperature you know you want the meat to still be warm when you're eating it nothing worse than having a roast when all the veggies and stuff are still hot because they often tend to be the last thing that people boil or whatever or get ready um and then you've got like cold slices of chicken or something i just do not like that um so that kind of stuff i really am not good at but like when you're just cooking something like a curry or something i'm really good at that but beck took her time and um, she's just been um, cooking now and she's oh, i'm just so looking forward to dinner as well um tatton park is nice this is a perfect stream, says Niall. Listen to Z waffling on while I process a big batch of new stock. Oh, I'm kind of jealous of that, Niall. A bit of a new stock. I, I really could do with some new stock as well. But, yeah, it's all gonna, whatever, even when I get new stock, it's just going to be more RC, I'm guessing. Um, that's, the, that's the sad truth of it. Obviously, if I find something awesome, like a car boot, then, you know, I will. But... Um, I've sold £60 worth since this morning, says Lisa. Need a new exhaust, but tempted to hit buy it now on a lush leopard print coat on eBay. Oh, a new exhaust or a leopard print coat. I mean, I am not... You know, I would say an exhaust would probably be a better buy, but I can understand why you'd want just to get yourself a nice new leopard print coat. Um... Yeah, yeah, you know, how bad is the exhaust? You can just pretend it's a sports car like some people do. You know, just do that. Um, went round the whole of Chester Roman Wall today, says Peter Ray. It was two miles. Um, today was brilliant. Well, that's, that's a lot of walking. Sounds good, though. Sounds interesting. Um, making lasagna from scratch, says DBG. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's something else that I can't do. Lasagna is too, you know, Mexican here tonight. Hub does 90% of the cooking, says Lisa. Or, yeah, you know what? If you, it's nice when, if you enjoy doing it. I mean, I do enjoy cooking, but there are times where you just get tired of it. Um, So at a weekend, it's nice when Beck wants to do it. I think Beck, Beck used to do pretty much all the cooking. She used to do all the cooking when we were at home. Um, She was doing all the cooking. When she went back to, um, when she went back to work, um, then obviously then I've taken over because it's just the, it's the the um, safest way, like you know it's the most convenient way because you know can't expect her to work all day, come home, and by the time she comes home, the kids are hungry anyway, so you need to get it all sorted out. Lisa says it sounds like a Ferrari, but is in fact a Nissan Micra. Yeah, see, you could just pretend you just souped it up, maybe I don't know. You could just like. You know, play some loud drum and bass and wind the windows down. And people will just assume that you've just souped it up and, you, and you're having some kind of like a boy racer phase or a girl racer phase. And, you know, you just how you roll. Just, just 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 roll with it, you know, until it drops off and starts scraping along um, the floor. That's when you know you need to change your exhaust. Uh, that's a pro tip. Lee says, one packaged call. Um... Okay, so I've just done that one from Red uh, from Grey Box One. I don't think there's anything else that needs to come out from Grey Box One, which means I can go on to Blue Box F. Cool. I'm just getting all the items out. So far, I've gotten one, two, three, four of nine. Okay. Hold on, that's BB. Oh, no, I need something from BBB as well. Okay, so I'll get that first. Um, right, BBB. Do it. Story of my life says Lobster Pot. <laughs> Just got back from holiday shopping. Absolutely exhausted. Oh, she's had holiday shopping. Wow, that sounds good. 
Well, like getting your clothes and bits and stuff ready. Sounds fun. Um, get the exhaust, Lisa. No car, no sourcing, no sale, says Death by Glamour. That is a very sensible thing um, to say. Um, yes. Oh my God. £300 for the exhaust. Surely that's like... Did you go to an official dealer or something? Because that sounds pretty expensive unless it's like the whole thing. Unless they've also had to quote you for like the catalytic converter as well or something. If it was just the exhaust box, I'd expect it to be cheaper for, a, especially for a car as popular as the Micra. That sounds, um, yeah, that sounds like a lot. Um, then again, when you when you get your car fixed, don't you feel completely like in the hands of like the mechanics? Because oftentimes I have no clue at all. No, I just have to go with what they say. Parts and labour, says Lisa. Ah, right. Um, I'm a shockingly sensible 28-year-old. Aid says, damn, I just realised I haven't sorted dinner out. Oh, my God. Pommy says, do any of you guys have business insurance for your stock, especially all those RC parts? Um... Most business insurance isn't going to cover you um, when they find out that you're working from home. Um, so, yeah. Um, you'd have to get like a policy drawn up specifically for yourself. Um, it, it's one of the benefits, I suppose, of working from an office space. Because then you can actually get that kind of stuff sorted out a lot easier. If it's like a, a registered kind of commercial... Uh, premises. There we go. Is this? Ah, oh, this was a nice sale. This is a nice sale. I've actually got two still left, which is nice. This is actually the first one that sold, though. I'm pretty sure. Twenty-two quid for that. Ooh. Gonna run away from me. Yeah, twenty-two quid for that, guys. Which is fantastic. It's a fuel tank. Quite. Look, see, it? little fuel tank. It's quite cute, really, isn't it? But for a nitro car, for a stadium truck, it's quite a popular model, the ST1. There is a group of 13 of us going to Turkey. Should be a good time. Wow, should that? That sounds so fun. 13 people together. That would be amazing. That sounds really, really good. I hope you have a lovely time. And like Turkey, my, I've never been. My sister's been. She absolutely loved it. Um, she, I don't know where they stayed. I think it probably was Istanbul, but she loved it. She was like, wow, it's amazing. But yeah, 22 quid for that fuel tank. Pretty pleased. Um, righty. Let's get this stuff back in. So that's blue box B. I don't think there's any other blue box B sales. No, there are not. Let's get it. Back up. Oh gosh. Um, I've got a shih tzu that sounds like a Rottweiler, says Lisa. <laughs> oh gosh. Just get a Rottweiler for your stock insurance, yeah. We've got Alf. Brothers, sisters, kids, wow. It's going to be a lot of fun, I'm sure. Um, I have a Staffordshire Bull tel Terrier, says Death by Glamour. Looks and sounds mean, but is a big baby. Oh, they completely are. Um, where Beck, when Beck used to work at the uh, the local shop before, um, she uh, like where she used to work. The owner of the shop had um, had Staffordshire Bull Terriers, and she'd gotten recently like a new addition to the family. So there are three in total. And this one, the new one was huge. He grew so fast. He was huge, menacing looking thing. But absolutely lovely dog. Absolutely. They were all lovely, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, they are lovely dogs. Um, yeah, they really are. I think they get a bad rap. And I think with dogs, like we all know, um, it doesn't really matter the breed if they're not well, um, if they're not well, you know, looked after. Um, that's what's going to cause misbehaviour or bad behaviour and stuff, isn't it, really? As long as you look after them and show them love, that's all they want. They're lovely dogs. Um, on, an, on a dog-related note or a cat-related note, 
I'm actually gonna. Have, I think I'm gonna actually have to go and get myself tested for allergies for pets, which is a bit silly considering how long we've had pets for. But I'm having a bit of a nightmare at the moment. I'm constantly waking up completely congested, and I think we've been we've been avoiding the the conversation really for a while. But it's getting to the stage where I'm really not getting good sleep, and I'm I'm constantly waking up congested, like just cannot breathe when I wake up and. It is possible that it's, uh, it could be an al- allergic reaction, so I don't know. But if, even if it is, I'm just gonna have to deal with it until, um, you know, and just have to cope with it, find a way because there's no way it would be. Um. Oh, my guy is a big sweetheart. He's afraid of cats. Says Death by Her. Yeah, I mean our tiny little cat is is a menace to our dog as well. He just wants to be our friend, and she just hits him and hisses at him and runs away. Um, Shazad says proper family holiday. We went to Egypt in March and had a great time. Wow, sounds so cool. Egypt in March, Turkey. I'm jealous. Um, <laughs> right, BBB. Okay, now it's time for BBC. Okay. 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 I need to get a couple of parts from here. I think. Do I? No, you just need the one. Um, a steering slider. Cool, that should be quite easy to find. It's red. Um. Hey, Treasure Pirate, how are you? Thanks for popping in. Hello, what's this? Yeah, it's just me trying to get my shipping done, Heather. Um, I'm just, um, just wanted to get some shipping done and I've been going live and it motivates me to get my shipping done um, so it doesn't build up too much over the weekend but thanks for popping in a little bit of an unplanned thing so I'm just going through all my stock and picking it out oh this is a nice little sale as well I've got four left of these so I just take one out that's it 0610 it's a little steering slider for fourteen pounds, thirteen forty nine plus shipping. Um, so pretty pleased with that. Have you tried taking antihistamines and see does it help? Um, I have in the past gone to the doctors about about it, and they did prescribe some like steroid based nasal sprays, um, DBG. But that's it. I haven't um had anything else. But I might see if um I'm I'm open to trying things because it is pretty annoying. Um, takes a while for me just to get going in the morning because you wake up congested, you've got a lot of pressure, um, so you get really bad headaches. Um, so it's terrible. Speak to your doctor. Um, fexofenadine, fexofenadine is quite good, a lot stronger than the stuff you can buy over the counter, says Shazad. Thanks for the advice. I will check it out because I do need something because it's getting ridiculous now. Like it's one of those things. I'm not someone that goes to the doctor like ever um i can't i've put it this way we've been up here for nearly three years i'm not even registered at the local doctors i'm just not because i'm like well i don't need it so it's fine but i'm gonna actually have to now register myself and last time i went was years ago um so yeah i do need to do that Pommy picker says check your pillow yeah we've done that checked pillows we've you know because there's um a lot of talk online about like you know dust my allergies and things like that as well um, but yeah, I could try a different. I could try a different type of pillow. I mean, we, it's quite a new pillow, but it's not anything fancy. Um, it's just a synthetic pillow. It's not like down or anything, which could cause me to get an allergic reaction. So I wouldn't have thought a synthetic pillow would have an issue. Um, and Heather says, just been busy bagging up my cashmere and dresses for filing away. Got a bit behind on organising, so doing my best with it. Ah, cool. Hi Janet, how are you? Thanks you for popping in. Um, yeah, so that's steering thingy for thirteen odd quid. So that's BBC done. So one, two, three, four, five, six of nine. Cool. Oh, we're getting there. Get all the items out, and then I'll be up to date. Five package says Lee. Wow. <laughs> Um, Sean says downside of self-employment if you're ill you don't get sick employment payment 
good side is you can earn double the wages, work six months a year and six months off that that way, says Sean. Exactly. Yeah, you, you've got to take the rough with the smooth. Um, the cool thing is, um, I don't, I'm not having to go in and be all smiley first thing in the morning because often first thing in the morning I'm not feeling great. Um, so I can, because after a while, while I'm up, after I'm up for a while, everything starts to clear up and I feel like a lot better now than I did when I woke up. I mean, I woke up quite late today. I woke up around 10 o'clock, which is a lot later than normal. Normally we're up at like six, um, but I woke up at like 10 and it was just destroyed. Like you can't really do anything. Cause you, you know when you can't breathe? So yeah, I'm, I constantly feel congested anyway. It's horrible. Um, oh, that's so annoying, says Heather to Lisa. I'm not the cashmere queen like Shelster Rooney, but I always grab good ones when I can. Yeah, you gotta find some cashmere. Oh, Lisa says, oh, I wish I could find some cashmere, All right? Yeah, gotta find some cashmere here and there. Surely it's out there. Um. Okay. First retire hub so he can run eBay from home, then me follow him in about five years. That sounds very planned. I have handed my shipping off to the new staff. Says Shazad, had a very busy weekend so far. They should have. 400 plus orders on Monday. Let's hope they don't mess it up, lol. Oh my god. That is. <laughs> I'm sure you will be there just to oversee it or, you know, make sure they don't mess it up. Um, there'll be two people, so it shouldn't be that bad. Yeah, I mean, if that's what you've hired them for, Shazad, then yeah. Great. 400 plus orders. Mind boggling numbers. Mind boggling. Absolutely mind boggling. All right. Um, ba ba bum. Okay, so that's BBC done. Okay. I was, I was planning on playing a bit of Fortnite later. I'm not sure. I just haven't gotten back in the mood for it, but I kind of fancy playing it. I might do that later as well. Oh, I just thought I'd put that in there. Um. Do do. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What do I need to get out of this box? I need to get... Bear with me, guys. <laughs> I know this is riveting stream viewing. I need to get a couple of items out of this one. Okay, that shouldn't be too difficult, though, because one of them's quite a lot of items. PD-814, which is a front knuckle. PD-814. PD-814. Not in that bag. Um, you are really organized. I procrastinate, says Mary Beth. Really, Mary Beth? Thank you for bubbing in. You think I'm organized? That's fantastic. Um, um, I woke up super early to check out Shepparton. It was nice and bigger than my usual, says Alia. Shepparton's fantastic. Um, absolutely love it. My sister used to, my sister introduced me to Shepparton car boot when we were down south. And whenever we went, it was fantastic. We loved it. Um, yeah, some really good stuff, really good um, items there. People just, just get rid of stuff there um, and a, a lot of selection. I really liked Shepparton, definitely. Really nice car boot. Um, glad you got some cool bits, Alia, and thanks for popping in. Um, Treasure Pirate says, my son loves Fortnite, got the fancy headphones with mic, etc. Yeah, I really want to get, I haven't played season six yet. Um, Fortnite, that game dominates my 15 year old's life. It dominated my life not so long ago, Pommy Pickers. And look who's come in, Ash. Hey, Ash. And Death by Glamour says, My husband is friggin' addicted to it. Um, I'm getting them to design SOP so that it will be a lot easier for any new members of staff. Okay. Um, any of you see the pics of Captain Morgan's cannon? I've not seen that, Peter. Um, well, I wouldn't. Um, it's Roblox for my daughter. Peter Ray says, we'll try pop in Z the stream if you stream Fortnite. Oh, thanks, Peter. Uh, yeah, I've, 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 I'm have I've, just scared of playing it, you know? I'm scared. What if I, you know, <laughs> what if I go back to streaming it for like 10 hours a day? It got to the stage, guys, where I was streaming it for like 10 hours on a Saturday. I, I need to, like, find a, a respectable halfway house, you know? Apparently season six has improvements on season five, but apart from that, I live in blissful ignorance. Yeah, it, it, 
it's just a way to keep it's it is video game crack it really is it's just designed to keep you playing more and that's all uh, nor have I as he played season six to be honest to be honest uh yeah you've been away though haven't you peter so oh gosh what am i looking for oh, oh eight one four i still don't think i've seen it let's keep looking um okay come on come on pd oh eight one four come on nope still can't see it PD0814 no ah, okay you're on fire with these live streams you should just go live whenever you're working in the office it's good motivation and entertainment says Ash thanks Ash just have set days where you play stream yeah but that sounds so organized Ash you know I'm not like that I just I'm random I'm I'm very random I'm I'm just a random my mind is random <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, just put Fortnite out for two hours. See, that doesn't sound enough. Um, you know, that doesn't sound enough. Um, I, um, Peter, two hours a week. I could, see, I'd rather just not play it than play for just two hours a week. It just in my head that doesn't sound right. I have to play for more than that. I see that's where I messed up. I'm just, it's just, you know, come on, where is this damn part? I think. I need to concentrate on finding this part. Okay, well, the, one of them's in here. PD1504 is in here. Um, j my PC broke, so I've been playing on Xbox. Oh, you must be beasting on there, though, Ash. I love all the live streams. I'd go live myself. Only nobody would understand me, says Death by Glam. I'm sure people would understand you. If I'm sure they would understand you just fine. If you fancy doing it, um, you should do it. It's a lot of fun. Streaming is a lot of fun. Think about it this way: It will be hard to play Fortnite for too long if you go live if you go live and ship daily. Yeah, I suppose. I suppose. I'm I'm don't go live daily. I'm just going live because I'm fancying it. You know, it's a, I like going live and just chatting to you guys and just messing around. Really, nothing serious. PD0814. Oh, God damn. You know what? That thing has happened where I've gone number blind. Oh. Okay, it's not there. Is it in this one? Is it in this one? Found it. It was in the last bag. It was last. It was the last bag. There we go. Um, I, DBG, so hard keeping up on all the live streams, says Peter. I can't, I just can't build the nerve. Just do a live stream, says Ads. Don't think too, yeah, don't think about it. P put it this way, Death by Glam. Look at it, look at it this way. I'm sat here, right? And, and, and this, in a way, this kind of stopped, uh, like, we haven't, we used to put out a lot more videos on this channel than we used to, right? And then we stopped because we started asking, who's gonna wanna watch it? And when you start asking yourself who's going to want to watch it, that's what's going to stop you making videos. Because your natural reaction is going to be, who's going to want to watch me do this or that or the other? You know, it's been done before or it's done better by many others. Who's going to want to watch it? And as soon as you ask yourself that question, you'll put yourself off putting a video out or putting a stream out. The key is to not ask that question. Be selfish. It's your channel. Your, it's, your, it's like your, you've got to see it as your little space on the internet, your little YouTube channel, it's your corner. You can put out a video about anything you want. It's your channel and you just, it's very, it's really satisfying because in a way it's so selfish, right? Because it's like, wow, you know, I'm just, it's, it feels good when you do that because you're like, it's my little space and I'm doing this. I don't care, you know, one person watches it or a thousand people watch it. I don't care. I'm just going to put it out there. And, and it's kind of silly, but it's liberating. But if you ask yourself, oh, who's going to want to watch it? Because that's the thing that has most often put Beck and I off putting out a lot more videos. We probably would have put out a lot more videos over the past few months than we have done. But we just started asking ourselves, who's going to want to watch this? No one's going to watch this. And you start thinking that. You're like, who's going to want to watch this? Like, who's going to want to watch me ship? You know? Who's and obviously it's not going to be like loads of people because I'm guessing it's just quite a niche thing, you know. But who you don't you just have to just get out there 
and people don't really you know people just want to hang out it's, it's a socializing thing you know that's what i think anyway um okay stream eight to ten on days you can and don't let ryan and tom keep you on until one see that's the problem ash yeah my son told me today his mate got kicked out of a group as one guy was live streaming and he found him and shot him okay <laughs> i can't even bring myself to record a video and upload it don't worry about what people think just have fun with it good advice in the chat really good advice um peter ray says dbg i've built up the kosher live stream and love it maybe someday yeah hey carla how are you thanks for popping in um i feel the same dbg i overthink things just don't get naked on youtube i have to hold myself back from doing that sometimes i forget there are limits yes ads that's very wise of you to remain clothed um i do appreciate and respect um the self-control you are exercising there to to remain clothed in your streams i, I will it'll keep me watching um it will keep me watching and and keep me subscribed to your channel um as long as you have at least a sock on i will watch okay um a sock at least a sock right preferably more but anyway um i'll do you a deal if you pack my 24 parcels i'll i'll watch the video of you doing this as carla. i've only got nine to pack carla and i'm doing this just to motivate myself um reminds me carla won't be in the sunday live as i'm away and visiting a big stately home uh, dbg do the first video then it'll get easier exactly exactly um all right you I need to get PD0814 out. A front knuckle. I need to get this front knuckle out. PD0814. Okay. Let me just, I'm going to have to tip this one out on the floor because there's a lot of stuff in this bag. Got it. And it says 12 available. Are you having a laugh? Have I got 12 in here? Oh yeah, I do, I do, I do. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, I was getting worried there for a second. I thought I'd messed my stock up, but there you go. There's a front knuckle. You gotta have a front knuckle. There you go. What's life without a front knuckle, eh, guys? What is... Okay, I can go back. Okay. That is... Court. Um, we are doing okay here. <sighs> um, no problems. We hope you're enjoying your trip trip away. Says Carla. Back. What did I miss, Lol. Oh, very funny, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've I found a few more items to pack. Shazad says, who's willing to pack my items? No way. <laughs> no way. Uh. <laughs> 400 items. I will Shazad 10 or an hour. You will need a few hours. He's got 400 items to ship. Um, Alia says, Z, I forgot to ask, why do you have a box called Sib K? What's the deal with that? <laughs> um yes i do actually have um we did name a storage box um called sib k it's actually over there i don't know if you'll be able to see it can you see it there it's just it's the blue one there's a blue one right by the door and it says sib k on it um and um, rebecca printed out her his um instagram i don't know if he still does it but yeah we've we, we've got a sib k box is because he, in one of our chats, I think things got a bit loopy as sometimes they do, and he decided to super chat to um, have one of the boxes <laughs> named after him. Um, I don't know how it got to that situation, but it did. So he he super chatted us. <laughs> Sounds so so bummy, doesn't it? It does sound a bit crazy, but yes, he super chatted us. So we were obliged to um, name a storage box after him. Um, so yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> oh gosh.
Okay. Um. I hate packing. That's Hub's job, says Lisa. Um. <laughs> it's nice to have company when listing, but I never get anything done. Just two drafts since I've been watching, says Aid. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, if I was motivated to just do these parcels off stream, I would have done them ten times quicker. Probably way, way quicker. But but the problem is, I probably wouldn't have done them at all. I would have probably waited until Monday. Whereas, by doing it this way, even though it's much slower, um, I'm kind of enjoying doing them. I'm, I'm enjoying doing these parcel because I'm hanging out with you guys. So it's kind of like, yeah, it, it makes it nice, right? It's just like, yeah, chill out. Um, right, okay, we're getting to... I need to get into BBE. Um, and there'll be BBF and that's it, I believe. That's cool. Fast Packer says ads. I can do about 20 flat out, but mine are ceramics. Wow. I'm, I love packing once I'm left to do it in peace, says DBG. Ah, fair enough, fair enough. Oh. I've been spoiled with my packaging. Um, I've been spoiled with it because I just pack easy stuff. Pommy Picker says, here, I'm going to have to go get some sleep, mate. It's 3 a.m. here. Been great funny seeing a live stream. I will have to get off my backside and upload more videos myself. Take care. Or I thank you for popping in, Pommy Pickers. Um, yes, it, guys, if you haven't, um, check out Pommy Picker's YouTube channel. He does have a YouTube channel and he'll hopefully be putting more videos out on it. Um, reseller, uh, expat. Um, all the way over in Australia. So definitely go over there and, and sub to him if you haven't. Um, I've bought a brass bed warmer for the love of God. Why, says Lisa Curry. No idea how that will be packed. Yeah, sometimes we all buy things and we don't think ahead. Um, we, we, we buy them because we're so excited and, and like, wow, it's a really great item. And then you think, I've got to now figure a way of shipping this. Um, yeah, <laughs> can happen. Well, I've got to remember to take these stickers off as well, actually. Before I get the next item, oh, I'm just going to de-sticker these. I'm, I'm so paranoid about sending something out with the original price on. It's just, you know... It's not even that we overcharge. Sometimes we're charging, you know, less money. But I just don't, you know... don't want people to see the original, you know? You know, you know how it is. Um, okay... Just peel these off. I don't have to do a particularly neat job when peeling them off because most of the packaging I've got is very worn. You know, this stuff is like old, so it doesn't need to be super kind of super neatly done. Okay. Wow, we've been going for over an hour. And Ads has just sold a single Lego minifigure for £30. That's a lovely sale, Ads. Wow. 30 quid for a Lego minifigure. It's balmy. That is insane. Good if you can get it. Why? Well, okay. Let's, let's get... Okay, time to get to... It is a lot of money for something so small, definitely adds. Um, I have staff that pre-pack most of my stuff when the staff are quiet in the shop. Massive advantage when you come to posting out items. Yeah, I, especially with the volume that you're doing, definitely. All right, BBE. Um, AN0932, retainer bolt, okay. Oh, I found it. Cool. I love it when that happens. Um. I still have to pat ourselves on the back. Considering how few items we have go missing, I just, you know, the fact that we can find tiny, tiny items like that just makes me happy. Makes me happy. Roaming Picker says, Z, hope all is well. Hi there, Roaming Pickers. Thanks for popping in. Um, yeah, we're just doing a chill out stream. Um, I'm just just streaming while I'm packaging, getting up to date on the weekend's orders so far. So yeah. Um, right. 
ad says bootstrap bill i oh, was that the minifigure that you sold yeah that's pretty amazing i've got to say it's pretty amazing it is it is like you say it's amazing what people will pay for things uh, it, it always surprises me um i mean the fact that someone will pay 13 quid for that that little it's just a piece of aluminium you know it's just wow or, or you know e even this i mean this isn't a lot but i mean what did we get for this thing here yeah oh yeah that, that was like 20 quid that was 20 quid that fuel tank and it's crazy it is crazy um ali says i still haven't seen guardians of the galaxy is it any good i have not seen the second one i've only seen the first one and it was fantastic fun yes and i'm sure the second one will be brilliant as well um i just haven't gotten around to seeing the second one but the first movie was brilliant um and um, i enjoyed it very much and i'm sure i will enjoy the next one as well um the second one as well um just one of those things very good movie enjoyed it um okay we're getting there guys we're getting there on to the last item i believe one two three four five six seven eight yep on to the last item guys and then i'll be ship uh, printing labels out Yes, Shazad. It, yeah, pharmacy related. Just imagine boots. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, he, he, he's selling things on a much bigger scale than pretty much 99.9% .9 of other people in reselling world. So, yes, it's completely different. Um, okay. Um, let me just go and get the final item out. All oh, right, what is the final item I need? It is, oh, the blade thing. That'll be easy, because that'll be in this big bag. There we go. This this is the kind of sale that I absolutely love. Oh gosh, um, your dinner must be ready soon. Says we were. It may well be. Um, I don't know. Um, I've not. Beck hasn't said anything. But then again, she wouldn't come in here. I don't think uh, today because she's in her PJs, so she she probably won't want to pop into the stream. Um, all right, 25 on. This is the kind of cell I love. Just sold another one of these. Well, the first one of these, this particular one. Got 32 in stock. It's a nice 12 pound sale, so I'm happy with that. EFL 2501. It's a little control unit for a tiny helicopter. It's a pretty nice cell. Take that every day. That's going abroad. Okay. Shazad says, that reminds me, Z, I have to send you something. Where do I get your address? Um, you can get it off of my eBay page, actually, Shazad, because we've got a business account there. You can get it from there. Um, so you'll be able to just uh, get it off of the eBay page. Um, but well, cool. Um, eight packages, 11 to go, says Lee Allen. Wow. Um, got go, Z, says Peter. Right, all right, Pete, thanks for popping in. Appreciate it. Um, and Corey says, yo, just finished work. Hi, Corey. Just doing like a another shipping vid. Just gonna start printing labels out now. Um, I just need to get the me what's that thing? Let me get my supply sorted. Alright. 
hope you had a good day at work. Well, as good as it can be, Corey. PDO 654. That's just not going to go through, is it? It's going to have to be a small parcel. Understandable. I think this, on the other hand. Yeah, that will go through fine. And that was, what is that? An 0814. And PD1504. Okay. I like these shipping streams, they're chilled, says Corey. Yeah, there's not much to it. <laughs> just just pop on. Just pop on and um anyone seen Sib recently? He was in one of the chats last time, Corey, but yeah, he's not been around as much recently. Um Me love him too. Me too, love him. Pure talking pure shit. <laughs> yes, it is there's no like this is just chilling out really isn't it guys this is just just chilling out this is not you know you're not gonna learn anything reselling wise here rj says hey guys chilling in my hotel room lol oh all right rj hope it's a nice hotel room yeah i think i could get away with that actually i think i'll get away with that yeah that's gonna go through as a yeah that'll go through as a large lot. I'll go through as a large letter. Um, that clutch. Oh, that's going to be a difficult one. No clutch won't. Um, PD0898. That definitely won't. But that's okay. That can go as a small parcel. It's fine. Um, okay, the tyres. That won't. That won't. That won't. Those are Centre diff set won't either. Yeah. It's okay, lol. Car show tomorrow, says RJ. Ah, okay, cool. Sounds fun. Okay. Guys, the temp has dropped like a bomb here in Ireland. Lasagna's done, but I'm standing in front of an open oven trying to... Oh, wow. They did say in the news that the temperature drop was huge and it was coming. Um, It's okay here at the moment in the northwest, but I'm sure it's going to plummet. I'm sure it is going to plummet. Okay. We're getting to the label printing stage now, guys. Just to keep you updated getting those orders sorted ah oh, finally i'm feeling so good about it guys i really can't tell you enough it feels really good when you're when you don't have to worry about shipping okay let's apply some postage to this so we've got a fuel tank which is on its way to germany um and it is going to cost about um yeah, it'll cost us like four quid to ship. I'll take that. Four pound ten. Apply. So Z is packing and talking, multitasking items. To wrong buyers coming up, says Niall. <laughs> very funny, Niall. Um, very funny. Um, can you tell us some funny stories from your teen years, Z, while packing, says Corey. Oh, God. Um... <laughs> made from scratch little stories from teen years oh god i i don't remember a great deal if i'm honest Corey. um you know it was i'm sure it was pretty standard stuff you know like pretty standard stuff you know the normal like rebelling and you know uh, that kind of stuff you know i'm not sure it's you know <laughs> i'm not sure if it's necessary to, <laughs> to talk about um, yeah, I don't think I've got anything majorly that I want to share. Corey says, I just ordered pizza from scratch. Corey is smashing it there. By the way, guys, um, Corey's been putting out some really nice videos recently, like a lot of informative videos on his channel. Um, well worth checking his channel out. He's putting out some really nice content. He's a, he's a young guy, but he's smart as hell. I wish I had my head in the space where Corey's is at uh, uh, whatever young age he's on because i was like i was not smart guys <laughs> that's the best way i can put it um kind of like now really 
Um, I hate pizza though. How can you hate pizza? That makes no sense. How can you hate pizza? Are you serious, DBG? Nah, you, you, you kidding? It, uh, who hates pizza apart from you? You must be like the only person on the planet to hate pizza, I reckon. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, to not always ads, not always. <laughs> no, it wasn't just that. It was just you know. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, going beef eaters for dinner says RJ. Large letter, uh, 95. Turn buckle in front knuckle. Whack that in there. Um, Lou Summerson says, deny everything. They have no evidence. <laughs> Uh, yes, guys, his vids are so great. And can we just mention he's the most adorable reseller on the planet, says DBG. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um. <laughs> no, what? Um. What? Who? <laughs> I've missed something there, but Carla was just dealing with something. <laughs> Sorry, Z. That was Natalie being <laughs> No worries. <laughs> you guys carry on. It's fine. Um, all right. Next is... Oh, wow. This is going to the US. All right. Let's see what it weighs. Park zone battery... Yeah, I'm just gonna call it 200 grams just to make sure. It's gonna go to a small parcel international standard. Okay, what if I do one? Yeah, okay, yeah, it doesn't matter. 206 grams. Um, International standard done. Um, and then we've got the clutch bell, which won't fit through as a small parcel either. PD0898. Sorry, guys, I'm just trying to concentrate a little bit if I can. Because, you know. Okay, that's the clutch bell there. Sure, yeah, that's not going to fit. It's going to have to go as a. Large left, uh, no, it's gonna have to go as a small parcel. Um, 95 and a small parcel. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, hold on a second, that doesn't make any sense. PD0898 clutch bell. Oh, is it? Oh no, that's the price, seventeen fifty five. Wow, that was seventeen fifty five. I was just making sure. Wow. Okay. No, that's fine, that's fine then. That can just go as two eighty five. I just apply that. Um Um Corey by the channel looks informative for sure. Another sub said Mary Beth. Oh there we go. Um a bit of wacky backy. I tasted that a few times to your secrets. Whatever ads. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I went shopping though yesterday. No excuses, aid. Okay, cool. We all know the ice. <laughs> uh, aid says I found your channel the other day. Ah, cool. Right. Never trust your children no matter how old they get, says Carla. <laughs> okay. Um, that's just going to go as a large letter. International standard. Um, and then we're on to the center diff, which I think is also have to gonna go, yeah, it's going to go through as a small parcel. 
small parcel, so that's going to be 285 as well. And finally, the wheels. Yeah, those can be 380, that's fine. Small parcel. Okay. Just pay for the postage. I was a rebel in my younger day, says Ad. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> we all have rebel kind of moments, don't we, guys? When you're younger, you just do. You just want to do the opposite. If your parents are pushy, it's just natural. Um, it just happens. I don't think any. I don't think it's different for anyone really. Okay, get these printed out. Come on, come on, come on. Superb. I'm so glad I'm getting this done, guys. I can't tell you. One, two, three, four, four. Five to the UK for abroad. Yeah, five to four. Okay. I used to smoke a hell of a lot back in the day. Ads, no judging here, says Corey. <laughs> okay. Let's just print this out, see if these come out okay. And they are, that's superb. Oh. Absolutely fantastic. Okay. <laughs> Looks like you're getting it done. Now you can go play Fortnite. Have fun, says Mary Beth. Yeah, it's finally done now. I'm actually going to go and eat something now because I'm sure dinner will be ready soon. Um, and we've already been going for well over an hour. Wow, hour 20 odd. Um, so <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is I'll package these up you know stick labels on them and they'll be ready but i'm really thankful to everyone in the chat for keeping me company while i got the shipping sorted out um I, it makes me up to date now so anything that comes in this evening i can just keep on top of and tomorrow as well so really really a massive thank you for everyone's company in the chat um no Stephen, you've not missed anything it was just us hanging out and chatting whilst i was doing some shipping there was no like topic or anything we were just chilling out it's just people that want to hang out and um, in the chat, so I really do appreciate it, guys. Um, <laughs> Death by Glamour says, I'm not <laughs> What? Where's this chat going? Oh, gosh. Um, thanks for the... I spoke. <laughs> okay. But, guys, thank you very much for popping in. Um, and I will probably be on later at some point. Oh, the inspo. Okay, no worries, Mary Beth. Really appreciate you watching, actually. Um, so I will see you guys later. Um, Lisa says, nice to hang out with you. Got sod all done other than hang up some stuff. Enjoy dinner. Have a good night. Yes, I hope everyone has a really good evening. Um, and um, I think that will be it. I'm just going to find the awkward bit now where I have to find the way of ending the stream. So bear with me, guys. But have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, bye.